Yes, from Hong Kong. And Christy, we have seen this reaction before, right, to those um, outbreaks. This one happening, though, uh, so close to Beijing this time. Yeah, that's right. And involving the Omicron variant as well. Just weeks before the Beijing Winter Olympic Games, cases of this highly infectious variant on the rise in the northern Chinese port city of Tianjin. And in zero COVID China, that means 2.1 million people in Tianjin now under lockdown. It means schools are suspended there. It means a second round of testing for all 14 million residents of Tianjin. I should also add that Tianjin is just 30 minutes away by high speed rail rail from Beijing, the Olympic host city. Now, meanwhile, hundreds of miles away in Anyang City, this is in central Henan province, um, the entire city there under lockdown after two Omicron cases were detected. Those two cases linked to the ongoing outbreak of Omicron in Tianjin. As a result, all five and a half million people in Anyang City are now under lockdown. Factories are closed. Businesses are closed. 4,000 students and staffers, they have been escorted to go to government-run quarantine centers. The Omicron variant has also just been detected in the northeastern Chinese city of Dalian. Um, those two cases there also linked to the Tianjin outbreak. Look, China does not live with COVID. China pursues an aggressive zero COVID, zero tolerance approach to pandemic control that involves mass testing, tracing, snap lockdowns, strict border controls, travel controls. And experts continue to point out that the people in China remain vulnerable because of the limitations of zero COVID and also the limitations of China's homegrown vaccines. In fact, according to one investigation in Tianjin, it found that of 80 people infected with the Omicron variant, 76 had already been fully vaccinated with Chinese-made vaccines. Paula. Yeah, Christy, uh, we will get to more reporting in the coming days about those Beijing Olympics, but it is to note those uh, games will go on even amid these yep. issues with Omicron. Uh, Christy, thank you so much.